So today I'm excited to be checking out the new Blue de Chanel All Over Body Spray. Yeah, believe it or not, this did not exist up until this year. So Chanel hasn't put anything out for several years now, and they decided to put out something this year, but we get an all-over spray. So how exciting is that? I think we're all impatiently waiting on a new release from Chanel, and so when this came out, people were already a little bit, uh, a little bit frustrated about that because this is what they're giving us. And it's surprising to me that this just now came out because Dior has had their very cool spray out for quite a while now. And it appears that there are gonna be some differences between these two. So I have cool spray here to uh, kind of walk you through this Sauvage version here, which is an eau de toilette. And we'll kind of compare it to the strength, the quality, the smell of this Blue de Chanel spray. I've looked online, I've looked on Fragrantica, I've looked all over the box and it doesn't say anything about eau de toilette or any sort of concentration on here. So it appears that this is just kind of like a, just a, a spray. And when you look on Fragrantica, it doesn't seem that people are getting great performance out of this one either. So we're gonna go ahead and crack this one open. We'll just see how it smells. And over time, I will test it and see if you do get any sort of good performance out of it. And the reason why I bring up the performance thing is I get really, really good performance out of Sauvage Cool Spray. Going into that one, I was like, okay, yeah, this is probably going to smell good. It's going to be refreshing, but it's going to disappear within an hour. Uh, but not, not at all. And it's a very strong uh, scent. So here it is. Um, here's the bottle. So just your typical kind of... Uh, body spray, deodorant looking spray thing we have going on here. This is a five ounce, 150 mil bottle. Just says all over spray on the front. And then you just have your different languages on the back. Uh, on the bottom, a batch code 6502, and that's it. So again, no eau de toilette, no sign of concentration here. So we'll see what we're getting into. I'll give it a good little shake and uh, let's See, okay, so the atomizer is good. Uh, it's not like very cool spray where you can just hold it down and it keeps pushing out. It's like an atomizer, but it's a really good atomizer. So, uh, definitely has a blue de Chanel smell, but there's almost a bit more of a couple of things. There's a bit more of a, a woodiness going on, like a spicy woodiness, and there's almost like a like a melon smell. So obviously the original Blue de Chanel uses grapefruit in combination with incense, but here it's like less grapefruit and more of like a sweeter melon type of note. And like I mentioned, a lot more focus on woods right off the top with a bit of a spicy kick. Already though, it's starting to change and it's starting to just kind of uh, flatten out in a way. You know, initially when you first sprayed this on, it had a big blast of notes from that kind of melon smell to the woods, to the musk, to the uh, spiciness, and it's kind of starting to mellow out and settle down a bit. So they do have a full-on note breakdown for this one, so I'll go ahead and read that off. Up top we have grapefruit, mint, lemon, pink pepper. In the mid we have jasmine, isoe super, ginger, nutmeg, so a lot of spices in here. In the base, we have labdanum, incense, white musk, patchouli, cedarwood, sandalwood, and vetiver. So a lot of notes for a, like a, a body spray, essentially, is what this is. And, you know, I already kind of said the notes that I get, the woods, the spices, that sort of thing. There's no melon note. You know, you do have the grapefruit and the lemon and the mint, which would give off a bit of a green smell. But I don't really get necessarily a huge focus on those. Unless it's just me having olfactory fatigue already, every time I go back to this, it seems to be getting a little bit weaker. It seems to be flattening out a little bit. It's like if you were to spray on a regular eau de toilette fragrance and then you know speed up time by like 5X, it's like you're experiencing the opening into the dry down and it fading off all within a matter of minutes. That's kind of what's going on with this. Like I just went back to smell it again and it's still seeming to be going away. Here's the Eau de Toilette of Blue de Chanel, the actual fragrance. And when you smell them side by side, there's a huge difference here. And I'm going to have to reapply uh, the body spray again. Um, so Eau de Toilette on this hand, just a gorgeous fragrance. That grapefruit, the incense, the woods, very masculine, modern, fresh, refined, smells great. And when you go over to this, more focus on the woods, the spices, that sort of thing. So when it comes down to smell, there is quite a bit of a difference here, but it is still very much a Blue de Chanel smell. So don't get me wrong, but it's not going to be like a one-to-one -one exact match of the Eau de Toilette, only in a different type of spray. 
So personally, I think they could have done a better job with this. I really do. I think they should have really kind of followed Dior's direction here and made it an eau de toilette. I mean, I've said it before, but Sauvage Cool Spray is something that I actually wear. And sometimes I'll wear it over any of the others, over the Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, or the Parfum. Like, this is a really good fragrance. Sauvage Very Cool Spray is much more bright and focuses more on the citrus rather than opening up with a whole bunch of Ambroxan like the original. And for those who are unaware, uh, Cool Spray, I don't know if you can hear that or you can't hear anything because it's not making any sound. You don't really shake this up. It's incredibly pressurized already. And I'll spray some in here. This room is going to smell very strong here in a bit. So I got to air this puppy out when I'm done. But that's how that works. Like you can hold that down and it'll keep going. And like that's some distance. I don't know if this is showing up on camera. Uh, that's a lot of Sauvage. And that's how it works. But it smells absolutely incredible. Uh, it, it's very high quality. You would expect this to be a crappy throwaway deodorant. But it's not. They did a great job here. I think, for me personally, Chanel kind of dropped the ball on this, especially when you consider this here, this 150 ml can of body spray is 80 bucks. Now, you know, if you were to buy 150 ml of Blue de Chanel, Eau de Toilette, or Eau de Parfum, it's going to be well over 100, uh, but keep in mind you're getting a much higher quality product that is an actual Eau de Toilette or Eau de Parfum or Parfum. This is not that. Now, obviously, Chanel is not known for being a cheap brand. None of their stuff is affordable. So when I see $80 here, I'm not surprised. But I'm just here to tell you that I would save your $80 and not get this. If you want something that you can throw in your gym bag and have as a, you know, after workout refreshing type of thing, uh, easily go with Sauvage Very Cool Spray. If you happen to like how Sauvage smells, you're going to love Very Cool Spray. Now, obviously, people do prefer Blue de Chanel over Sauvage. People do prefer Sauvage over Blue de Chanel. So it's a completely personal preference based thing. But if you are someone who doesn't like Sauvage, you don't want to get Very Cool Spray for that. I don't think this is really worth it, uh, the Blue de Chanel spray. I really don't. At that point, just carry a decant of Blue de Chanel with you and throw it in your gym bag, you know, in one of those scent bird style atomizers that'll be protected so it doesn't break. Put it in one of those and carry this around because this to me isn't worth it. Like I mentioned, it fades pretty quick on my skin. Going back to it, it's still there after a couple more sprays, but I can tell it is starting to fade off. It just really doesn't have a whole lot to it here. Now, I understand the point of this is just to kind of refresh and smell good for a little bit, but at 80 bucks, I think there are better options out there. That being said, it does smell great. It does have that Blue de Chanel smell, but with a little bit of a variance. I find the presentation to be a little bit cheaper than the Sauvage Very Cool Spray too. The cap is uh, plastic on both of them for sure, but the cap here is a bit lighter. Uh, the Sauvage cap has a bit more authority when it clicks in. All in all, I feel the Sauvage bottle, can, whatever you want to call it, to just be a bit more hefty, uh, to feel a bit more premium than the Chanel, which you would you know, expect the Chanel to be premium, if not more premium feeling than the Dior. So, you know, is what it is. Alrighty guys, I think that's really all I have to talk about here. Performance on this isn't going to be that good. I'm not even going to follow up and do a full review on this probably. Maybe I'll bring it up in some Chanel video later on down the line and update you guys, but I really don't think it's all worth your time. If you've had a chance to test out the new Blue de Chanel all over spray, let me know what you think about it. Do you think it's worth the 80 bucks? Do you think it's not? One other thing to keep in mind is Chanel's usually don't hit discounters, and if they do, they're at the same retail price or marked up so the discounters can make some money off of it. So what I'm saying is this probably isn't going to be able to be found discounted all that much either unless you're buying secondhand or something. So that doesn't really help matters here in this situation. If you've tried it, let me know what you think. If you haven't, do you want to? Um, this is what we got from Chanel this year. Hopefully next year will be the big year where they put out something new uh, because I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I am a huge fan of Chanel. I love the Blue to Chanel lineup. I love the Allure Own lineup. I have all of them. Platinum Ego East, one of my favorites. But this here to me is just not exciting and it's not really worth it either. We'll take one more look at that atomizer. It already smells incredibly strong in here. Uh, so it is a good atomizer, a nice distance there. So we'll compare that to the bottle as well. Um, the bottle has more distance, but this spray comes off more like a body spray. It, it is very pressurized, so it's great, great atomization there. And of course, we're having fun. We're wasting stuff. 
that's pretty fun. So there you guys go. Blue to Chanel all over spray. If you want to become a channel member, you could do so by hitting the join button down below. That'll get you access to these videos in advance. It'll get you access to a private group chat where you can get all of your questions answered. You can ask for specific recommendations from me and the other members. You can also watch some vlogs, some behind the scenes content, some bonus top tens, that sort of thing. And I think that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.